All right, welcome to Fitness Combine 2.0, 2016. PowerPoint. <laughs> so, all right, the way this works, the, so nobody seems to know what a combine is, if you've heard of the NFL Combine, where they, the, uh, the college players get to show off their talents to see to the NFL teams to see where they might get drafted or what team they might end up on. That's essentially what this is. It's a way for you to gauge your performance, to get beyond just the focus of weight loss and fat loss, and to look at how well you can perform in certain movements, because strength is really what's going to dictate how you live out the rest of your life and how functional you are and how easy it is to live. So what we've done with this is we use it as sort of an assessment so we can gauge where you're at with a lot of our lifts, with our individual competition, and then we have a team competition to help build community, get people to build relationships, get to know each other, and have a little bit of fun. With our individual competition, the first thing that we'll do is we'll go through bench press, squat, and deadlift to see what your one repetition maximum is on that, so how much weight you can do one time. The main, uh, you'll get five minutes to establish, you'll get five minutes to try it, and after that you've got to move on because we got to make sure it doesn't take all day. With the bench press, the main focus, you can put your hands wherever you want, elbows wherever you want, but the barbell does have to touch your chest for the rep to actually count, or we will not count that rep. With the back squat, so the bar is going to be back here, you can put it wherever you want, um, but you got to make sure that as you drop down, your bottom has to go below your knees. So we can't stop here, can't stop here, it's got to be below the knees. If it's not, then that weight will not count. With deadlift, the weights on the side of the barbell have to touch the ground and then come back up. So you'll be starting from the ground. So really with a deadlift, you drop down, you grab the bar, and then try to stand up, push your hips through the bar, and that would dictate how much weight you can do. You only have to do it one time uh, in terms of the weights that you're trying. Once again, you get five minutes to establish each one of those. And once we get those, we can actually, we'll track it, and then we can calculate how much weight you should be lifting when you're in these sessions, when we do five reps, eight reps, all that good stuff. So that'll help us with that as well. It will also give you an idea of how you've improved over the last few years. Then we're gonna do push-ups, pull-ups, and sit-ups. So push-ups, we will have a cup or a small ball on the ground that every time you come down, you have to touch that with your chest. And we'll be watching to make sure, otherwise the rep will not count. With pull-ups, you have to start from a hanging position, completely hanging, come up where your chin goes above the bar completely, and then all the way back down to full, a full hang again. It can't be stopping with any, any degree of elbow flexion here. If you use bands on the pull-ups, we're not going to do the inverted rows this year, we're just going to do pull-ups. If you use the green band, uh, you have to do three of them, three reps for it to count as one full pull-up. Purple and black bands, you have to do two for it to count as one rep. Um, if you can, absolutely cannot do pull-ups with any of those bands, we'll use a blue one, but you've got to get four for it to count as one. We'll just be giving one point per pull-up, we'll be giving one point per rep on the, uh, on the sit-ups. We'll be giving one point per uh, pound on all of these right here, and we'll be adding all this up at the end of the day for the individual competition. With your sit-ups, what we will have is, we'll essentially do what is, it's sort of called a curl-up. So we'll have a, let me get my marker here. We'll have a, if this is you, in your sit-up position, you'll have your hands down by your sides, and we'll have a piece of tape right here, and then another piece of tape a certain distance right here. So they're on the floor, you're laying on your back right here, and you're excited because you're about to do sit-ups, you have three eyes. Um, you'll sit up enough to where your hands have to pass this line at your sides, and then you go back down again. So it won't be exactly, it'll be most, it'll be most of a sit-up, but we won't be coming all the way up, reaching arms up high because it's too subjective. So we need some kind of standard there in terms of counting reps. So this is a standardized version of it. So you'll, You'll basically come up, slide your hands forward, and slide back from your back on the floor. Once again, it'll be one point per rep. Um, each of these will be two minutes long, so you get two minutes to try these out. Then we're going to have you in teams of four for the team competition. So all the rest of this is the team competition. This is where it gets really, really fun. We have a sign-up sheet. I just wrote it out. So we have a sign-up sheet. Um, we've got two teams signed up already. Y'all can make your own teams. and if you're too shy to make your own team, we'll put you on a team, we'll try to make them as evenly as possible. But this will be hanging up with a couple of extra sheets of paper over on the bulletin board by the front door. So you'll be in teams of four with your teams. Uh, one event is the sled push, so we'll put five minutes on the clock, we'll have two teams going at once, and it'll be just like some of the workouts we do, where you take the sled from one end of the room all the way to the other end of the room, then the next person brings it back. So you have to alternate teammates 
and however you want, you can have two at one end, two at the other end, however you want to do it. But it's got to, we'll have cones down and they have to cover that distance and we'll just count each length. If you get past halfway, we'll have cones in the middle, then that will round that rep up. So you'll get one point per length. And whoever gets the most lengths in five minutes uh, wins that event or gets the most points. Um, with the team event, it's all cumulative. Just like here, this is all cumulative in terms of points for the winners. Standing long jump test. This is a standardized lower body power test. So we want to get, we don't want to just test strength. We want to see how powerful you are. So we'll have a line drawn on the floor. We'll have probably four different areas to do this. You bring your feet to the line, you jump as far as you can. Um, that wouldn't count because I stuttered there. I didn't land stiff. So you jump as far as you can and then we'll draw another line at the back of your heels. You get three tries. When you land, you have to land stiff. If you trip or fall, then it doesn't count. You get three tries on that after you warm up. On the, then we have a box jump test. So this one's a little bit more fun. We just want to see how high you can jump and land on a box. Um, we'll make sure it's safe. We'll make sure we're using the soft boxes. We'll give you, we'll give each team about five minutes to try to establish how high they can jump. And then based on how many inches it is, we'll just give one point per inch for that for each person on the team. Then for muscular endurance, we are going to do a plank test and a bar hang. The plank will be a low plank on the elbows. If there is any movement at all, any deviation from this right here, then the plank is, is done. So if you try to turn and shake your arms out, you're done. If you put a knee down or both knees, you're done. If you lift the foot up, um, any of that stuff, if you put your head down like this, you're done. So it has to stay right here. You can shake around a little bit, but nothing can lift up off the floor. And there will be a 10 minute cap on that. And we'll do that based on kind of like the sled push. One minute will equal a point, half a minute will equal half a point. If you get over a half a minute, we'll round it up. If you get under half a minute, we'll just, we just round it back down. Bar hang, same thing. We'll put a 10 minute time cap on that. Just hanging with the elbows real straight. Uh, you can kind of get into that hollow body position. You're not allowed to move your thumbs around. You're not allowed to open the hands up or shake a hand out or anything like that. So you've got to stay consistent there. So those are our first team events. And then we got one big one that can look a little bit confusing on paper. So this is a version of what we did when we did a recent competition. It's called Party in the Middle because you'll have your team of four. Two people start here and two people start here. There's three exercises on each side. These two people in your group will go through those. These two people in your group will go through those. And then you meet in the middle and you complete deadlifts in the middle. So hence the name Party in the Middle. Um, but you cannot start the deadlifts until all four people have made it to the middle. Once the deadlifts are finished, then the two that started over here will go over and complete these, and the two that started over here will go over and complete those. We'll have it set up so that it flows and it makes sense. The exercises, if you start on this side over here, you have to row, between the two of you, you have to row 50 calories, however you want to do it. Most people would split it 25, 25. It's just got to get to 50 calories. Then you have to get 50 box jumps. For men, it's 24 inches high. Women, it's 18 inches high. If you 100% cannot do either one of those heights, then we will accommodate for you. There will just be a little bit of a point deduction. But our goal with this, we want to make it hard. We want to make it challenge you. We want it to build community um, and help foster a team, team-like atmosphere here at Breakaway. But we want it to be accessible to everybody. We don't want anybody to be terribly intimidated. We don't want anybody to feel like they can't do this stuff. We want to make sure that you're able to do it to the best of your ability. So we just need to talk a little bit beforehand. Um, so you'll go 50 calories between the two of you, 50 box jumps between the two of you, uh, 50 kettlebell swings between the two of you, women 53, I'm sorry, men 53 pounds, women 35 pounds. If we have to change that, we will, but most people can actually swing that. Um, you can split the reps however you want to split those. So you'll go through those in that order and then you'll meet in the middle for deadlifts. On the other side, while those two are doing this, the other two will be completing wall ball for 50 reps total between the two. Men are gonna do a 16 pound, women a 10. The main standard on that is you're, just like our back squats, your bottom has to be below the knees. Come up, the ball has to touch the bottom black line on that wall. So where that thick black strip is, it has to at least touch that bottom line. That's a 10 foot height and that's the standard for this test. On the, then we go to jump rope. So you've got just single unders. You have to do 200 each um, because they're single unders, they're not double unders. 
and then we're going to do burpee over a plate. So with that, we'll have a 45 pound plate on the floor. You drop down into your burpee here. Come, you do not have to go to the floor on these burpees with this because we're trying to make this accessible to everybody. So you drop down, kick back, kick up, um, jump on the plate, over, down, up, on the plate, over, down, up. So that would have been one, two, three. You have to get a total of 50 reps between the two of you. So once you have finished these, they finish those, you all meet in the middle. As a team of four, you have to complete 100 deadlifts. So you can split that up. Everybody can do, you can go five, 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 and go through that five times. However you want to do it, or somebody can pick up extra slack if you can't do the weight. With men, we want you at 185. Women, we want you at 95. The scale version would be 135 for men and 75 for women. Remember, just like uh, up here, deadlifts, the plates have to touch the ground. If you bounce a little bit on this, it's not a big deal. It'd be simply because we are timing you. The fastest time through this wins. Um, there will be a 20 minute time cap on this. And we, can, we should be able to have this set up where we can have a good four to five teams going at once on this. Um, if we have to scale lower or change the weights or do something different here for you, we can. Once again, we really want to make sure that everybody can participate in this because it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to give away a lot of really cool prizes uh, at the end for the top three teams and for the top three individual finishers. That pretty much covers everything for Fitness Combine 2.0 this year. It is next Saturday, so it is August 27th. We're going to start at 8.30 a.m., so we want everybody to be here by 8 so that we can get everybody warmed up and make sure that this competition is as safe as possible. We'll start with the individual stuff, and then we'll let you get into your teams, and you'll go through these, and then we'll do the party in the middle last, and then uh, Blake and Silas and I will get together, we'll tally up all the scores, um, and then we'll give away the prizes. So if you have any questions, post them in the comments on this video. Thanks, guys.